convention never been to one of these so I don't know what to expect but it should be fun right Randy yep it's gonna be a good one yeah. and I'm wearing my Amazon Prime shirt can't really see that there. Amazon Prime but anyway um I figured it would be a good shirt to wear for today because Transformers related. Anyway, I gotta go because I have to tell Randy which way to go from here. You don't have to, I already know. Oh, of course you do. See, I can't, I can't do this. Anyway, I'll be back later. So we are at the thing here. Bumblebee. That's cool. Star screen. Galvatron. <laughs> wow, that's pretty good. the money for that. So this is not all Transformers. There's other stuff as well. Five by five cube. I don't know if I'd be able to do that one. <laughs> Hot rod. Where is that? Yeah, it's hot rod. Yeah. 
all the Batmobiles. But it's not Batman. Why was that in there? <laughs> Frogs. And then they've got other stuff behind there. I don't want to touch anything. I don't want to. And then we've got all of these. Well, he just opened them up. I didn't realize it comes with a little tiny laser. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good little thing. I just opened it up because I saw something. Well, you've never had it. Sounds good. You've never had one. That's your first one. That's not much of an explanation, Slater. How do we know you didn't sell him for experimentation? Not a chance. I, I never. You really don't trust me that much. Yeah. But whatever he is, he's given us a distraction of us out of this place. So I'm going. If anyone else cares to join me, I agree with him on that. And we should go. All right, then. Lead the way. specifically but uh, my, my buddy Matt and I were driving up and we're going you know a really cool overarching thing of the show was that Energon was such a collection thing and it almost relates to like gas and maybe played into the you know the energy crisis of the time but what do you guys think Transformers do to actually absorb the Energon? <laughs> I'm gonna leave that up to the creative writer. <laughs> <laughs> When I... Yeah. Like, do you think they just eat it, or do they, like, stick their finger in no, and absorb it or something? I don't know how that was dealt with in the original miniseries or in any episodes before I came on board. But I 
do remember having a conversation fairly early on in season two, or at least after I was hired by Sumbo, was the whole idea of every episode being about having to get energized was getting stale really quickly. And so we kind of, obviously, I, I played that up in, uh, in my first episode. So we kind of just steered away from that. Because it's like, how many episodes can you tell that same same stick each time? So um, I think after a while, I just kind of ignored the idea that that was something that was integral to the origin of the story. Yeah, I see. I always I always anticipated that it was just something that was uh, symbiotic. That it was there and, and whatever, like a radiation or whatever, they would just absorb it and power it themselves. So that, that was, you know, not being a robot, but actually playing one on television. That was my interpretation. <laughs> <laughs> so, do you, do you recall in any of the original episodes how? I, I think that I was I think I remember. Absorbed? Uh, Insecticons ate like little pieces of it. Oh yeah, we did. Oh. Yeah, and and milky crack and a jar had a jar. Exactly. <laughs> well, there, was, there was that one episode uh, when they were charred. They all got drunk drinking it, like the cubes. Oh, oh that's yeah. right. Yeah. So they like, they just like had the cubes and they drank them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, in the movie Cup gave them up like sticks of gum for the jar. Screw it, right? Yep. And yep. I recently wrote a eight page comic book story that is the origin of DEF CON and a prequel to The Gambler. And I do have one line before DEF CON is going to take out a Decepticon. So the Decepticon says, but we dug Energon together. Like, you know, they had a history and, you know, you should spare me. That's cool, man. Thanks, guys. I so, we just left the Energon. That was actually pretty good. I am glad we went, you know, especially with that Hal, what's his name? Hal Rail. Hal Rail, that's it. And he voiced Raphael, but he wasn't the prominent voice of Raphael. That was Rob Paulson. He did Raphael in the later years, right, near the end of the season. But also, I've noticed that he's that he voiced a lot of the same characters that Rob Paulson did. So I'm assuming that they had similar voices, or else he probably wouldn't have done it. Can I go left or right? Can you go left to Sergeant? We're going to Dairy Queen, and you might not be able to come with us because my phone is dying. So. We'll see. We will see. The longer I talk, the longer, you know, the more battery power I use up, and the less likely it would be that you'd come with us. But hey, you never know. Right, Randy? Yep. Yep. That's right. That is right. That's right, Eden. I'm trying to. Ah! <laughs> So we ended up going to a different Dairy Queen. Look at the size of that spoon. Go and spoon the spoon, Randy. <laughs> Do it for the vlog. Oh, wait, do that again. There we go. Actually, I, I bumped up right like, next to it, and I felt it move with it, so I'm thinking maybe I should move out of here. That thing so it might not be... All right, so Randy just dropped me off, and now it's time for me to take my pills and edit and save this vlog. And I'll be back tomorrow, and it would probably just be another one-take vlog because I have no plans for tomorrow. I'm just staying home, 
and I think I'm gonna get started on the Super Kev scripts. So if you're excited for that animated series, let me know in the comments because it'll motivate me more to work on it. I'll be back tomorrow.